What's up guys? I just finished a Red Bull, so I'm absolutely hype. So let's make your videos not look like garbage. Woo! Hey guys, what's up? It's Bravity, and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today we're talking about all this, everything in here, all the lighting that goes into making my videos. I'm gonna show you guys how to make your videos look just like this and not like garbage. I'm gonna show you the exact way that I did it if you got a little bit of money to spend, but we're also gonna be going over an unbelievably cheap way to get a similar effect, pretty much the exact same effect. Like I'm talking very cheap and very easy, like one cheap trip to Walmart or one cheap trip to your local home improvement store. Just get a couple lights. I'm gonna show you exactly what to get, exactly how to set it up to get a very similar effect to this. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So let's keep this nice and simple, guys. My lights consist of a large daylight balanced softbox directly behind the camera. Daylight balance just means the same color as daylight, which is white. So when you see those white lights, that is daylight balance balanced, the more yellowy orangey lights are tungsten balanced. Daylight balance looks a bit better on camera to me, so I would go with um, whiter lights for the ones that are going to be on your face. But then I've also got another softbox directly behind me up on the wall, and that is shining the pink light directly on me. That's got a Philips Hue bulb in it, so I can control it with my phone or control it through um, any kind of home assistant, and I can change the color to pink if I want it to be like it is now. And then on the ground next to me, I have a blue light that is shining up on the wall and a lighting up all the foam on the wall and just giving a bit of depth to my background. So first let's talk about the softbox behind the camera. So in the links in the description, you'll find cheap-ish versions of everything that I use in this video. So if you wanna pick up a softbox, if you have a bit of money to spend, I think it's about 35 to $40 here in the US. But if you wanna pick up a softbox, I highly recommend just getting a cheap one off of Amazon. It'll work great for you guys. And it comes with photo bulbs, so you'll know there's no flicker. Sometimes bulbs and lights can flicker and you wanna make sure you keep that in mind when you're picking out light. So you can't go wrong with a big white daylight balance softbox directly behind the camera. The reason why I recommend softboxes is because it's got a big diffusion sheet in the front. So the light it throws on you is very soft and nice and it's forgiving on any imperfections anybody has. But another reason is because I can look directly into this light and it's no problem. It's because it's got this sheet in front of it that's keeping it from just burning your eyeballs off. So I recommend softboxes to anybody who's uh, looking to get some lights to shine at your faces. So look down in the description, pick up that softbox if you got some money put it directly behind the camera and then you're uh, you're off and running so one thing you want to avoid with your light is you don't want to put it directly behind the camera like above it or below it because this is going to make your face completely flatly lit you'll notice I have some shadows over here on this side because I've put the light off to the side you want to do that so that you get a bit of a shadow side here adds a bit more depth for your, to your face and looks a bit more interesting another reason you do that is because if you're gonna have colored lights on the other side like this the color shows up a lot better on the side of my face when there's no light here you're just drowning it out. If there's a light over here turned on, then you just wouldn't see this pink at all. So you wanna make sure you push your light out to the side a little bit and don't light directly on. A lot of YouTubers make that mistake. They'll buy two big lights and just boom, just blast your face with light. That's not a good thing. You wanna have a bit of a shadow side. Too much lighting directly on your face can definitely be a bad thing. So next up guys, we're covering the colored softbox that is behind me. So once again, down in the description, you'll find versions of the products that I use. This should be a smaller softbox. You don't want it to be big and in the way if you're gonna have it on a stand or something. You want a nice small light. You don't need one that's huge, just like the one up front here. So if you go to the link in the description, you'll find nice small softbox. And if you wanted to mount it to the wall, I'll put the mount that I use as well it's a, called a baby plate and you drill it directly into the wall and then you can mount your light to it there but if not uh, light stands are super cheap on Amazon and you just stand it up right behind you now for getting the actual colorful light if you want to go the same route that I did and get the Philips hue bulbs they are a little bit pricey and can be complicated to set up you have to plug things into your router you have to connect them to Wi-Fi all kinds of stuff to get colors but they are nice because if down the road you end up changing your channel colors or just need to switch it up you want a different channel or you just want a different color coming out of your light then you can easily do that from your phone that's why I love Philips hue but if you do not have the money to get Philips hue and you still want colored lights you can just go out and buy these these are super cheap little lights and they're just colored lights and you just put them directly into the socket and boom, you've got a color light. You may not be able to change it, but you can always go out and buy another one of these. These are super cheap. I buy these like at Walmart or just at any like grocery store, but I'll also put a link down uh, in the description to Amazon if you'd rather order it from there. But these things are super nice and super cheap to add color to your lights. All right, guys, now it's time to move on to the final light and that is this one on the ground. Now, here we go, warning. Warning, I'm going to put the link to this exact light down in the description. It is not 
rated for video. It is an outdoor light to shine on like a fence or something. It's not rated for video. So if you get it for colors like red or green or purple, stuff like that, it's probably going to flicker. Blue does not flicker for me. I got lucky. If you have blue channel colors, maybe you'll get lucky too and the blue won't flicker. But just be careful if you're gonna order lights like this, it might flicker on camera. But if you don't wanna take the chances on a light like this, then just get another one of these little soft boxes or just get any kind of um, light that has a socket that you can put one of these bulbs in and just pop another one of those colored girls in there or just pop another Philips Hue bulb in there and then shine that backwards at your setup. Not every light has to be pointed at you guys. We've got the main light that's lighting me up. We've got the accent light for me, but this one is not for me. This is just for my background to make it look nice. If I shut it off, you can see how boring this looks. Adding a light to the background adds a lot to your videos, guys, and I think you would really enjoy it, and I think your viewers would really enjoy it if you took the time to add some color to your background and just spice things up a little bit. But that's it, guys. Those are my three lights. One main light, one accent light, and then one background light. Key things to remember, put this one off to the side a little bit to give yourself a shadow side. Put your colorful accent light on the opposite side so that you're not putting the color one on the same side as your super bright light, because then you won't see the color. Put the color one on the shadow side, and then the one down below, don't point it at you, just point it at the background, point it at something interesting in your room, set some decorations up, and then point a light at it. It's really gonna look fantastic, guys. But now let's move on to making this setup for extremely cheap. All right guys, so we're back from the store and as you saw in the video, you're gonna wanna buy a bunch of these guys. Specifically, I bought three of them and they're just called can lights. They've got a metal can here and then a socket where you plug the bulb into or screw the bulb into. And then you've got the little clip here so you can attach it to anything. These things are super cheap. I think I bought them for $8 is what they were, somewhere around there. And uh, they're incredible. I use them a ton in actual film work because you can hide them anywhere just by clipping them onto anywhere on the ceiling or whatever. But you're gonna buy a bunch of these can lights and then a nice white bulb and then a couple of these colored bulbs, whatever colors you want in your stream room. I got the pink one and the blue one to match my current setup. But as you can see, you guys are familiar with what my setup looks like. This is what it looks like, take it in. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these can lights and replace all three lights that I have in my studio, all of my studio lighting with these three can lights that cost $30 with just the colored bulbs and whatnot. And we're gonna see how it looks. So let's go ahead and replace everything out. All right, and there we go. I am not kidding. The three lights that I have in here have now been replaced with the three can lights that I just bought at the store for $30. We got the white one back here, we got the pink one up here, and we got the blue one down here. And if you don't believe me, let me pull out my phone, start a video up. So there's you guys right there. Here's me talking so you can see that it's the same video clip. I'm not recording this in, in the future or in the past. And we've got one can light up there with my softbox down there. We've got one can light up here with my other softbox down there. And we got the blue one right here shining on the wall with my other light off right here. You can see I just clipped it in clipped it into the plates up there. This is all you need to do with can lights, guys, is just put them around your room in the correct place. I gave you the tips of where you put your lights. You just buy $30 worth of can lights, put them around your room, and you can get some fantastic lighting. And once again, just in case you forgot, this is what it looks like with the studio lighting. So as you can see, guys, you can get unbelievably close to my original lighting setup that I spent much more on for $30. So I hope you guys understand that it really does not matter what type of lights you have, just as long as you know how to use them. Take the tips that I gave you previously in the video at the beginning about where to place the lights and go out and buy $30 worth of can lights at your local hardware store or whatever and get better looking footage, guys. All right, guys, that is the end of the video. That is all I have time for, and I hope you enjoyed it and learned something about lighting and how to light your room, putting lights in front of you, putting lights behind you to light up your background. But more importantly, I hope you learned that you do not need to spend a ton of money on lighting to get a better looking stream or better looking footage for your YouTube channel. You just need to have lighting in general and know how to use it. So go out and buy $30 worth of can lights and bulbs and get a better looking stream. But if you have the money, I still would recommend the studio lighting. It just looks nicer, it's brighter, it's more diffused used, but you do not need that guys. So make sure you're lighting your stream, make sure you're lighting your footage so that you can have the best possible content to put out to your viewers. But that's all the time I have for today, guys. And I will see you in the next video. Peace out.